and the backlash continues for Paula Dean Today, Target stores announcing it's going to follow the Food Network and other big-name retailers and cutting their ties with the celebrity chef. But fans of the Southern cooking star are coming to her defense, organizing assaults on the Facebook pages of these companies. And Paula Dean's latest cookbook, now ranked number one on Amazon. Here to break down what this means for the Paula Dean brand are branding experts Karen Post and Mark Rudolph. Thank you very much for being with us. And, you know, guys, I want to kind of start first with the backlash against the backlash. Now, today we had some extraordinary comments come out. Reverend Jesse Jackson actually putting out an almost sympathetic statement in Paula Dean's support, saying, look, we don't want to destroy this person. Martha Stewart saying, oh, I, I kind of feel bad for her. Yeah, uh, it, what's, what we got here? This is a, yeah, uh, Jesse Jackson. I sense she is deeply troubled by what happened. Her, her legacy and reputation are at stake, and, and she wants a way out. He seemed almost sympathetic. And, and there you see Martha Stewart's comments. So first, let's start with you, Karen. Do you think that Martha Stewart, uh, Jesse Jackson, and others, are they risking their own brands by coming out in favor or, or sympathetic to Paula Dean, Karen? I think it's a hot topic, and um, they're they're weighing in. But I think uh, Paula Dean um, is a buffet of blunders. She had many opportunities to really make this right, and time after time, continued to uh, dig a, a deeper hole for herself. So it doesn't surprise me that they make comments. I think at the end of the day, uh, her brand is pretty much toast. Yeah, and uh, Mark, what do you think about, uh, there's a real backlash against some of the sponsors who have dropped her. Uh, Walmart apparently had a big blowback, uh, Amazon, or no, uh, uh, Target stores did. And I'm wondering whether you think that the endorsers that have dropped her, did they drop her too soon, did, or did they need to go instantly? I think this has all been a hypocritical overreaction. Uh, Paula Dean uh, atoned for her sin, if you will. She has apologized profusely. She's prostrated herself before the world. And I think it's really time to move on. Yes, Jesse Jackson. Don't forget, Jesse Jackson's the same guy who called New York City Jaime Town. And uh, he recovered from that. You have Al Sharpton, who's on MSNBC, he has his own show. He never apologized for Tawana Brawley. The Clintons. You had uh, Larry Patterson, who was a. Uh, security guard uh, in the detail for Bill Clinton when he was governor of Arkansas and he's written extensively about how Hillary and Bill used anti-Jewish and anti-black slurs and look where they are so I think that she has done what she needs to do her fans show that they still love her uh, she okay. is redeemable, and I think she, her brand is not toast at all. She will be back, and I think she will be successful again. Right. The uh, dust will settle. Okay. You'll see. Uh, Karen, all these vendors uh, okay, will come Mark, back. Okay, Mark, a little shorter, Mark. Let's, we got to make it a little faster. Hey, Karen, once you drop yes. that bomb of the N word, which seems to be, God, I mean, radioactive, is there any way a star can respond in the right way? Is there something that Paula Dean could have done better? Well, first of all, the, you know, the N-word was not non-fat, uh, and that issue is a very sensitive, uh, emotionally charged issue. It's different than with Martha, Martha Stewart when it was about money or greed. And so, you know, I really don't think she did a, a good job of owning what she did wrong. I mean, she danced around it, and she had three opportunities. And I was embarrassed for her, and I'm still embarrassed for her. Yeah, I thought the original uh, direct video that she did was a disaster, and it's almost as if you now, when you when you sin against us, you have to go on Matt Lauer and Today Show, otherwise it doesn't count as a legitimate um, apology. And Mark, let's go back to you for a minute. I got a tweet earlier today on some of this. It was from a, an African-American young man who basically was again, and this is just a rank and file person, not a celebrity, no, no uh, involvement there. He just said, as a young black male, I respect Dean more for admitting a truth and not a lie. She was a child of the Jim Crow era. Mark, you know, when, when we have this huge reaction, we shout down someone who's used that word, we feel better, like we've stood up for blacks, but we haven't done anything to change the 46% high school dropout rate that black kids have versus 25% for whites. We haven't changed 70% of black births are out of wedlock that kind of mires them into poverty. We haven't changed the 28% of blacks live at the poverty line. So why do we make such a big deal about ugly, horrible words and seem to not be doing a whole lot to address those deeper problems? Well, it may, uh, it may be a case of me thinks they'll protest this too much. And don't forget, as I said before, there was no backlash against the Clintons. And the other thing, too, that I find extremely hypocritical, these stores like Target, 
that are dropping Paula Deen? Are they refusing now to sell the rap music? Uh, of the stars who use that word all the Quite time in their music. You, yeah, uh, that's an awfully good point. I don't see them point. saying Target and, and uh, yeah. uh, Walmart saying we're no longer going to sell rap CDs and videos that have that word in it, yeah. are they? Uh, those are, that's the, the biggest seller, and one of the biggest sellers of music industry. I kind of doubt they're going to do that. Right. And that's and an awfully it's good hypocrisy. Point. Okay, we've got, we've got to wrap this, and I really appreciate both of you taking time to be with us tonight. Karen and Mark, thanks very much. And now we're not.